sharing this uh, window. So this is the home page for JDK 21. And in this, this is the source of truth for all the features it's scheduled and uh, what can we do about it. So from here, you can go to any page and understand the features which it has. So before I start the session, I would just like to um, let you all know about one thing that already I have a to maintain to let the Java community grow and to learn the latest features. I maintain a GitHub repo where I have been sharing the usage and showcasing the latest features of Java 21. So the GitHub repository is uh, very simple. I have been sharing it. So the owner is uh, engineer Sunit. And then here the repository is Java 21. So this is a simple Java uh, repository where there is no support for Maven or any Gradle because currently they don't have support. They don't support it. It's not GA yet. That's why. And all the files, which are the source files, are available in the in this directory. So here you can find the unnamed pattern variables feature, string templates, simple hello world, which I published I think a day of, day before yesterday, and uh, sequence collections, object hash. That is I think not related to Java 21, but it uh, shows how can we use alternate ways of generating job object hash and the generational Z garbage collector. So all these uh, files, you can get it here. Today we will be discussing among these all uh, string templates and sequence collections. So first of all, let me help uh, those who don't know or those who are yet to uh, be a part of any JDK release journey, how it happens. So first of all, what we have, what we do is that we go to the any user should always any Java developer or any Varsi who is who wants to learn Java, they should always visit the release um, homepage. So this is the JDK 21 homepage. It shows that it is currently here. You can see the schedule and you can understand what is the schedule is. So currently we are past 8th of June. So that is uh, past the ramp down phase one. And ramp down phase one to initial release candidate. What do they mean? I think most of the people who are already in their jobs and working in a developer position, they understand that we have some cut downs before the general availability phase. So where we in the wrap down phase one, they are currently the Java community, the open JDK community is looking up, looking for fixing P1, P2, P3 bugs. And uh, maybe if P4, P5, if there is a time, which usually doesn't have, people don't have it. In the ramp down phase two, the fix the focus will be mostly on p1 and p2s and in initial release candidate only p1s and these are the features which we have so one important thing which i wanted to um, showcase here is that these are not just text files or ht blank uh, like html pages which just give us information they also connect you to the open jdk development work as well so for example, let me show you one uh, example here. So let's suppose today we are going to look into the these two features, sequence collections and uh, string templates. So you want to know that what changes were made to deliver this feature. Let's suppose we take the smallest feature that is sequence collection, which is not a preview. It has already been integrated with Java, JDK 21. So it is not a preview one. So you click on this link. So you are navigated to another window. You can see that the status, the important things here are the status integrated and release 21. So this, this status means that it is already there as a part of the JDK 21 code base. From here, what you can do is that you can read about this entire. So one good thing about the JEP page is that you have the ready-made code. It's not almost, it is 99% ready-made as in like you can uh, quickly take the code sample snippets from here and use your JDK, your IDE uh, to make this code running with adding some of the boilerplate code. For example, creating a class or uh, creating a main main um, method. Apart from that, you can you can copy most of the things. So here, after reading the JEP, and if you want to understand or if you really want to make uh, make this code run in your own machine, so you can do one thing. You can check if it is integrated or not. If it is integrated, 
then i will let you i will tell you for later what can be done if it is not integrated and you really want to know further what is the code change so there is a issue link here at the bottom so you can click on this link it will open a new bug.jdk open jdk page here in this page the same content which you saw in the jeb page is also mentioned here at the bottom of this page you will have either some other issue links or some tasks in this one you can uh, look at look for anything which is like a not a bug or some implementation kind of thing for example this is a not a bug so you can click here and here this is the ticket with which the developer had merged it so you can go and check this pull request or you can if you want to check the commit you can click on this last link and you can now will be navigated to a github github page, github page where you can see all the code changes which were done or each of these so you might be familiar with this java classes right collection collections so these are the real files which were in which the code changes were made so for example taking a like taking the example of array list which is i think most uh, famous or most used uh, java class by all the developers so you can see here that what changes were made so most the, the most notable are the addition of get first get last and add first add last and remove first remove last so these methods were added here total of six methods were added and then you can also understand what was added what were the review comments for review comments what you can do is you can click on the pull request and you can see the this is the pull request here you can go through all the review comments made and how this pull request was integrated with the main branch so all these things you can check and it is as if like you are you are uh, you are making your journey along with the open jdk team you are understanding so i go, get many questions like uh, like uh, for example if they are not yet graduated they are doing graduation either engineering or any other graduation or post graduation they have not started their programming uh, yet or people who are doing um, jobs in software industry so if they they ask that if i am not doing something which is related to programming and i i want to make programming i want to be part of a team which is doing programming and understand from it so we can i always give them the suggestion that you can uh, take any one of the active open source projects for example open jdk and then all these things are available here so you can be a pass passive member of the team you can keep on tracking the home page go to their pull request see what they if you are not familiar with the team members it's fine but the thing which we want to extract from here is that the what quality of the because we all understand the people working here are have dedicated their time for the open jdk project so what they are doing what kind of comments they are making and finally what is the code delivery we are doing in the open jdk so here you can see all these things and you can you will be really feeling a connection with the java uh, development kit development so uh, where you are not a part of the team yet but you are you getting all the information uh, making it they are making it available for you so this is the example by which i personally use this uh, methodology to dive deep into the code the review process the efforts made by different team members in open jdk community it's a uh, the community has many people from various uh, various companies diverse groups individual contributors as well so you can go to any jeb page then go to the issue from the issue you can go to the bottom of the page and uh, check which is not a bug so these are all i think bugs so without the bugs it should not be a bug implementation should be a non bug so it is an enhancement so it's a new feature in this you can get the pull request from where you can get the review comments and uh, uh, the the efforts done by different team members and finally if you just you just are wanted you just want to know what code changes were made to deliver this project you can click on this uh, commit and the commit you can get the changes for all the files similarly the second thing which we want to discuss today is uh, let me close this windows second thing which we want to discuss is for example what happens if it is already 
how to know if it is already uh, there in the um, Java 21 or not is that the status is integrated. And let's suppose it is integrated and you want to run the code for sequence collections feature. So you can in the from the home page only you can click on the JDK GA slash RD access builds. So if you click on this link, you will be navigated to the JDK Java net dot uh, net uh, website. Here you can see early uh, ready for use is 2019 and other releases. Early access is also available now for JDK 22 because it has been branched from the main uh, main um, code repository. So now you have JDK 22. This page doesn't have anything now because last I checked because we don't have any features now for this. We already have a build one for JDK 22. So if you want to try out JDK 22 with I think no notable uh, you have these changes. You can know what changes were made or what issues were addressed in this. If you want to go to JDK 21, which we are interested in now. So you can see there was it is build number 26. So comparing JDK 22, which is already we have an early access build. So build number one starts today. So people who are thinking why to learn or why to understand JDK 21 today, they will be amazed to know that JDK 22 already has started. So we are, uh, I'm not trying to cliche it by saying we are behind or something because we are always behind. Even we sleep, when we sleep and wake up tomorrow, it will be really behind some, uh, we will not be knowing many things. So JDK 22 has started, build number one has started. So if you download the zip, if you are depending on your uh, OS, you can download the zip or the tar zip file. And so let me compare this with 22, 21. So this 26 builds have passed. So you can understand that uh, if the by the num date, so if it is uh, June 9th, it means that if uh, uh, let's suppose uh, so it is merged already. So by anything which is merged before this date will be there in this zip. So you download this, unzip it and put it in your um, Java home and uh, path variables in Windows. I'm using Windows, so I'm just talking about giving example of Windows and then you can start working on it. So a time check, we have already um, crossed the 15 minutes, uh, already talked about Java 21 for 15 minutes. So our next agenda will be, so this is the, I wanted to just showcase last time when we did the audio uh, streaming, that time I was not able to, unable to show these things uh, on screen. But this time I wanted to really wanted to show, uh, show these things so that people can I want to see more engagement, uh, more from the Java community uh, at LinkedIn or using my YouTube channel to so that they can they can be also be a part of this and they can really see how easy it is to uh, see the code changes made by the team or uh, to use this feature at all. So second thing is that we can down. So I showed you that how can we download the zip file and uh, make it a part of your daily learning. And these builds will be every Thursday, I guess. Ninth uh, is, um, yeah. So every Friday, yeah. Sorry, every Friday there will be one build. And uh, next Friday there will be another build 27. So you can download that if you are interested in the changes made in that build. Now, without further ado, let me take another example of the other feature I was talking about. That is, um, yeah, that is the string templates. It's a preview feature. I will also show during the live code, say, live code session that uh, what is the difference between a preview feature and a non preview as in like the integrated feature. So in a preview feature, you have to give some extra flags. Many times I myself included, I have found that when we are talking about uh, preview features and non preview features, most of the time we are, uh, we invest more time in understanding what do they mean and less time and we are more confused in running those code and uh, getting discouraged by some errors like this is a preview feature, add this flag, add that flag, or um, you, some errors which we can't understand because our IDs, when we are uh, working with JDK versions, which we which is going to be released in future, our IDs usually don't support them because our IDs are supporting N minus one or uh, the nth release, that is 20, not the 21. So you don't have support for Maven, you don't have support for Gradle, you don't have support. The ID doesn't know about this particular version. So you feel uh, lost without people who are dependent much about who are dependent on IDs in their day-to-day -day life. They will be lost if they um, if they use it as a plain Java, like how we use used to use uh, in our graduation or when we were at school. So we used to 
<clears throat> have a template a terminal and we used to run from there so that is the experience we have to use for java for the n plus one release that is 21 now so taking examples quickly an example of string templates so if you want to see the code here you can go you can click on this uh, issue it will navigate to a page like this and then you can go to the end and click on the this issue uh, this issue link and then you will be going here and you can see the same um, git pull request and uh, the commit so in the in the pull request you will be able to see the uh, the comments and in the commit you can see the code changes which were made so these are the code changes which were made and you can see you can really appreciate the quality of code and the the things which we don't know actually how uh, the how a java developer you might be using a, set, a very limited set of apis or methods or the way of coding you can understand even how the open jdk team codes so that is one important and a very crucial and very valuable thing which we can take away from this uh, code review now let's proceed and uh, i just wanted to make sure that everybody who doesn't want to spend more time in writing the code from scratch can uh, leverage the uh, it's not a i'm not saying that it has exhaustive and it is a very um, uh, end to end or uh, it's it's having all the types of code snippets but i just wanted my intention of creating a uh, a github repo for uh, java 21 is just to make sure that i what issues i faced or when uh, in, in the past that uh, i was uh, struggling for a n plus one release uh, the struggling the struggle part is that to make it running and to type the code which is not cannot be shown by the ide uh, by the compiler because it doesn't understand that uh, byte code version so though so you can at least have a compiled compiled or already tested code by somebody and you can build on top of it so now i can the next part will be to show you the real 